My name is Yasmin Chinwala. I'm a financial journalist from London. I wouldn't call myself a die-hard journalist. I'm an observer of people primarily. In my stories, I try to offer insight into complicated issues, and I'm always looking for a fresh angle into business news. My name is James Stroud, and I'm a portrait photographer. I work with portraiture because I have an innate interest in people and what makes them tick. I get very inspired by passionate and ambitious people, and I hope that in my portraits, I capture a little bit of what they're about. James and I have been given an assignment to travel across the world to try and find surprising and unique businesses. Companies that are pitched up in places that you really wouldn't expect. And entrepreneurs who have, against all possible odds, been successful. It's not that hard to find these stories if you know what you're looking for. You just have to keep your eyes open. And if you see something out of the ordinary, you investigate. Once a year, here in the financial heart of London, business people and bike enthusiasts gather for the Nocturne Folding Bike Race. Folding bikes have been kicking around London for some time, but it wasn't really until a company called Brompton came onto the scene that the concept exploded. From his base in London, engineer Andrew Ritchie invented the Brompton in the late 70s, and was hand building a few hundred bikes a year. But it's been in the last decade that Brompton has garnered serious investment and serious attention. How do you feel about Brompton being regarded as a British design classic? It's called a design classic now, which is very flattering. I mean, I thought it was a bloody good solution. I mean, <laughs> though, of course, you know, I thought it was the right way to go and, and to get a bike to fold up small. Um, the fact that it was going to become as get acquired the notoriety, if you like. You don't think about those things at that stage. I just wanted to get on. What's the appeal of a fold-up bike? Well, the nice thing about a fold-up bike is you can take it wherever you want. You just jump on a bus or a plane, and the great pleasure is arriving at the other end and just unfolding it and going, which is lovely. So at what point did um, the company reach that tipping point? Well, I've actually handed the baton over to a younger guy, Will Butler-Adams. There's always a risk, of course. We could either grow steadily, as I was doing, 10% a year and not catch up with the market, and then people might run to other places, or grow rather faster, which has its own risks, um, but at least try and keep up with the demand. And Will has chosen the latter, but, and, and he's putting a lot of energy into it. Brompton Bicycle. Saddle comes up, 